Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Sunday, the 24th day of March. Here we go. On Sunday, the 24th of March at night, we're going to do the search for chametz. It's supposed to begin at Teis HaKochavim, when the stars come out. That's the same time, approximately, as when Shabbos ended in your area. In Baltimore, it's a little after 8 p.m., on Sunday night. Now, it should start immediately after that time. So it's not nice to dilly dally and be busy with other stuff and get it started nine, ten o'clock at night. It's mitzvah is right away when the nightfall comes on Sunday night, and you should be prepared to begin at that time. When you make the bracha at the beginning of the search, it is appropriate to not speak throughout the entire search. Uh, because you have made a bracha which applies specifically to the search, and therefore you shouldn't be schmoozing about other things. Now, if you have to say something regarding the search, like, um, could you pick up the bottom of that drape so I could look under it, you know, that would be appropriate because that's part of the search. It's just schmoozing like, uh, hey, should we go shoe shopping tomorrow? That's something you shouldn't be discussing during the search for chametz. And while I mention lifting up the drapes or whatever, I might add that nowadays, when we have beautiful flashlights available to ourselves, the the idea of using a candle, it's still nice to use a candle for the tradition of the matter, but wherever you need to crawl under a uh, couch, drapes, curtains, flammable stuff, where certainly it's safer and easier to get under that couch with a flashlight, then by all means use a flashlight and don't feel guilty at all. You can start the search with a candle, you can use the candle for all the, all the general areas, but whenever you need to be searching for areas that... Uh, it's unsafe to put a candle in, no kidding around. So by all means, use a flashlight, and that's going to be totally appropriate. Plan to have the search take not just two minutes or five minutes, an hour or more, because you're really doing a serious search of throughout the house. This is not a law that I'm about to say to you now, but it's a nice idea to have a notepad with you and write down certain things that you notice during the search, like, oh, yeah, yeah, we've got to close off this medicine cabinet, or, um, hey, I've got to check if uh, this stuff is uh, kosher for Pesach or whatever. Any things that come up during the search, it's a good idea, not exactly a law, but a great idea to jot them down so at the end of the search you can take care of all the little things that you noticed um, throughout the entire search. And then when you say kol chamira at the end of the search and when you say it again on Monday morning, please make certain, don't feel embarrassed if you need to say it in English or any language that you understand. It's fine to say it in the Aramaic, which is difficult to understand, and then perhaps repeat it again in English, because you are nullifying the chametz that you own, and it would be a good idea if you understood what you were saying, so by all means, feel free to say it in English. Also, nothing wrong with that at all. Thanks for logging on. Log on again on air on Erev Pesach for more. Bye-bye.